God bless you, my beloved. Thank you for listening today. We are Abundant Grace Church, and I am Bishop Ramon Di Maria, and I am the senior pastor of the church. For prayer or information concerning our church and outreach ministry, or to donate to this ministry, please email me at abundant.grace at att.net. Our message today is titled, Living with Power. I will be coming from Second Peter chapter 1 and verse 3. His power has given us everything we need for life. My beloved, there are some rules for living in victory, and I would like to give you three of them. One, learn to control the climate around you. My beloved, negativity is contagious, so look out for its carriers. Love them, lift them, but don't let them infect you. Filter what people say to you through God's Word. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, which is the ability and a can-do attitude, and of love, which always looks for the best in a person, and of a sound mind, which is stable and consistent. That is in Second Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7. 2. Learn to laugh at yourself. A man who had been given a lovely plant took it home, watered it, fertilized it, and set it in the sun. A year later, he discovered it was silk, and he still laughs about it. When you are securing God's love and approval, you can laugh at yourself. Believe me, I do it all the time. It's a mark of spiritual maturity when you can look at your mistakes and learn from them. Laugh about it. Don't let it get you down and give you that mindset that nothing's going to work out anyway. Three, look to factor God in all that you do. My beloved, when 90% of the circumstances are uncontrollable, focus on the 10% you can do something about. That's what the Apostle Paul did when he wrote in 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 5 and 6, We are troubled on every side. Without were fightings. Within were fears. Nevertheless, God. Note the words, my beloved. Nevertheless, God. You see, my beloved, when you are facing a mountain, always remember, God can move that mountain. And he can level it also. He can tunnel through it. And he can help you to climb it. All you have to do is factor God in, okay? And how do you do that? By seeking his face, consulting him in prayer and through his word. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 16 says, Let the words of Christ in all their richness live in your hearts and make you wise. Remember that, my beloved. Remember to let the words of Christ in all their richness live in your heart and allow his richness to make you wise. So my beloved, one of the main ways you can keep rich is to invest in reading your Bible. Let it sink in to your mind, into your spirit, and into your heart and draw from it daily because the Bible is rich and it has the answers that you need to have a life of power. So if you want to live with power in your life, dwell on the Word of God. Seek God in prayer and allow Him to to speak to you, to lead you, and to guide you. Let us pray. Father God, in Jesus' name, thank you for giving us this message today, living with power. We know that at times we are weak. We face a lot of adversity. We grow tired and weary. But Lord, let us always remember that At these times, we are to call on you because you will give us the strength that we need because you are our strength. Guide us, keep us, direct us in the things that you have for us to do. Thank you, Father, for this time of prayer as we pray in the name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be glory, power, and majesty, now and forever. Amen. God bless you, my beloved. Remember, use the power of the Word of God. Walk with God. Eat with God. Sleep with God. Always dwell on God in the name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for being with us today. God bless you and go with God.